Hello and welcome to the channel. If you like live swatches and reviews, please go ahead and consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell so you know when I upload new content. Today, I'm going to do Lynn B Design Polishes for Polish Pickup, Hell Handmade Creations, Little Box of Horrors, Vampire of the Month, and her new collection, Clueless Redux. The first set is Clueless Redux. First up, we have Way Harsh Tie, which is a deep purple base with pink to yellow to green to teal, shifting shimmer, and linear hollow. And I do want to apologize for the cinematography being so blurred, but the swatch photo is the best representation of how the polish actually looks. So that was my first uh, application. Here is my second application of the polish. Now in my swatch photos, I do have three coats of the polish and a glossy top coat. Next up is Assembly Challenge, which is a pale pink base with pink to orange to yellow shifting shimmer, red to orange to yellow shifting flakies, and scattered hollow micro shreds. I thought that this was such a delicate and dainty polish, very pretty. Uh, like I said, I do have three coats of the polish with the glossy top coat. This is my second coat. It dries down just a bit textured, so you may want to have a glitter top coat or just a really thick glossy top coat. Next up, we have Kind of a Baldwin, which is an earthy deep green black with intense red to orange to yellow shifting shimmer and linear hollow. This is such a beautiful green polish. I really enjoy it. It does have sort of a jelly texture or consistency, and you can see the orange flash in it, the orange shimmer. So this is my second coat. Again, I did do three coats in the swatch photo. Now here, actually the best representation, I would say, is in my swatch. Uh, my live swatch, not so much the photo. But next up, we have Overwhelming Sense of Ickiness. This is a pale cerulean blue with teal to purple shifting shimmer, teal to blue to purple shifting flakies, and magic hollow flakies. And I really think that this could be used as a topper as well. Again, I did use three coats and a glossy top coat. Next, we have Lock Without Jeep, which is a black base with silver magnetic pull, silver reflective glitter, and scattered hollow micro shreds. So many beautiful components in this polish. And this is my false first coat. Now, the best representation here is in my actual live swatch. It's coming off more of a mossy greenish color in my swatch photo, but this is the best representation in the live swatch. And as you saw, it's very reactive to the magnet. It's very reactive. It doesn't take long for the magnet to pull the magnetic particles to the surface of the polish. Very beautiful. Next, we have This is a Alea. This is a juicy red base with linear hollow and pink to yellow to green shifting flakies. Man, when I put this polish on, I fell in love. Look at that squishy, juicy factor of this polish. And it looks so well on my complexion. I really love this shade of red. And then the flakies just add an extra pop. Next is Full On Monet, which is a reflective glitter topper 
with micro flakies in purple, teal, red, and blue with added hot flakies. I didn't do it over a actual polish. I just wanted to see how it actually builds up. And to also show you all of those components in this polish, those flakies and those glitters, it's just beautiful. But I did do three uh, coats, but it's best to use a sponging method. With this one, this is called Saving Herself for Luke Perry, which is a burgundy base with black to red to orange multi-chrome shimmer and magic hollow flakies. I have to admit, this one is not my favorite because it has more of that brownish base, like it says, a burgundy base color, which doesn't look that well on my complexion. But I realized that once you put it on in thin coats, it did look a little bit better on me and I grew to kind of like it a little bit better. This one is I Totally Pause, which is a golden yellow base with red to orange to yellow, shifting shimmer and scattered hollow flakies. When I swatched this on my nail, I was mesmerized. This is so out of my comfort zone, but this is such a gorgeous and beautiful summer springy polish. I love the consistency. Uh, it it's more of a jelly finish, but it's gorgeous. Next is Veiled One, which will be a part of Little Box of Horrors. This is a teal base with purple to pink to orange to yellow shift, hollow flakies, and silver reflective glitters. Man, I these reflective glitters are giving me so much life. They are just beautiful and gorgeous. The next polish is for Vampire of the Month, which is the Brat Prince. This is a deep blue base green to gold shifting magnetic pull and scattered hollow sparkle. Look at all those sparkly flakies. The shift in the polish, oh, it's so beautiful. I was trying to show you here the pull in the magnet polish, but I'll show it better in the actual swatch. Here I'm starting off with my first coat. And as you can see, you can see some of those flakies pulling through as I shift my finger around. This is one of those show shots, show stoppers to where you would just actually just look at your nails all day and shift them from back and forth to look at those great particles and those great flakies. And that's over the magnet for the first application, which is not much of a pull, but I'm gonna put in another coat so you can see it a little bit better. And also in my swatches, again, I did do about two to three coats with a glossy top coat. Here I actually sped it up just a little bit, but you can see better here, the better effect of the cat eye. And you can see those blue flaky and sparkles that's in the polish. Next we have Rhombus of Doubt, which is a part of Hella Handmade Creations. This is a magenta red base multi-chrome that shifts from blue to teal to purple with scattered hollow flakies. This too is quite a sheer polish, so I do suggest at least three coats with a glossy top coat. It does not dry down textured. Here I'm just showing you the shift in the polish as well. Next 
Next, we have Prismatic Spring, inspired by Yellowstone, which is for Polish Pickup for March 2022. This is a cerulean base with purple to pink to yellow to green to blue shifting shimmer and linear hollow. This is one of my favorites because of the hollow in it and the actual consistency of the polish. Uh, it's just beautiful. I got so many compliments when I wore this after I swatched this beautiful polish. Look at that shift. Oh my gosh, you can see that purple magenta shift. Gorgeous. So please visit Lynn B Design for these clueless redux. These are six new shades and three redone shades from 2015, which will be on sale March 11th through the 15th, $11 each, but $99 for the collection and half off code clue. Please let me know which one of these are your favorites. Don't forget, allow the man to take hold and watch the magic appear. And I'll see you guys in the next video.